Hello there, it's uh, me again, and well yeah, I'd like to continue this tutorial, and last time I forgot to show you um, how to do rounded corners, because we've done this transparency key thing, but I didn't show you how to make the corners rounded. I'm only, I only want a very small rounded corners, so you just do draw corners and then foxia, because that's the color um, uh, we set here. So now you build it, and then you can see these tiny pink corners. And when you run the program, you'll see that the corners are now rounded a little bit, and that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so now for other controls, it's very very similar. So again you do class and then demo button. Because the button is another control that's very easy to make. So now, um, you inherit um, your theme, control this time, very important. And you get a color hook and a paint hook again. So uh, in this control we have some colors that need to be done and I'm going to define them right now so we want a button color and we want text color uh, well, wait, uh, so button color ignore what I just said and as color and we also want uh, text color and as I said, that's a brush, so as brush. And I didn't explain what a pen is, but a pen is basically the same, but it's for drawing borders and such. So, um, for lines actually. So you do dim border as pen. And in sub new, we're going to um, set the button color, that will be the color for actual button and yeah um, button uh, let's go for a gray button oh wait we already used gray so uh, white smoke maybe okay and then for the text color um, black text would be nice and a black border as well. The border. Also, I forgot to mention that this is case sensitive. So, if you would uh, in your color hook use border with a small b, it will not work. That's very important. Sometimes it will say something about a key not being in the dictionary. That's what you get if you mistype something here. So, um, button color equals, um, well, get color button. Oh, I just realized that button color will be filled. So, oh god, just ignore what I just said as well. I really suck at making tutorials. Um, okay, so, uh, the text color. That's a brush is get brush text and the border is a pen get pen border. Okay, fine. So now g dot clear back color and well now we're going to fill the button um, with our button color. But first of all, a button has three states. For mouse over, uh, for mouse down, and also for uh, just a normal state. So I'm going to select case state, and then you have case none. That's just a normal mouse state. So we're going to um, we're going to fill the rectangle um, in our um, oh shit, I, I did something wrong. Um, we don't, uh, we, we don't clear with back color, but we're going to clear it with our, uh, button color. Okay, and now we're going to draw, rectangle, uh, we're going to draw our border on top of it. 
and for the rectangle, new rectangle and 0, 0 and then width minus 1, height minus 1. Uh, yeah, that's that's the dead area. It's always minus 1 because there's this little region where it doesn't draw. I, I don't know why, but it's just something you need to get used to. And then draw the string. Oh no, uh, there's actually a better method. It's draw, draw text. And then your brush, that would be text color. And your... Uh, this can be a rectangle as well. Oh no, horizontal alignment. I I usually go for center because you want your text to be centered inside your button. And then X. Um, I don't really know what the, what that is. Well, I'll go for zero zero. We'll see what it what it do what it does. My sorry. Okay, so here we have our button. Okay, and it worked. Great, so that's our button. But as you can see, when you mouse over on it, it will not do anything. Well, it will clear, but that's not what we want. So, um, we do case mouse state dot uh, over that's when you well hover the mouse over the button so um we're going to fill the rectangle we're going to clear it with another color um well you can set this well wait 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 so i'm just going to draw another color on top of the color we already had so you do a g dot fill rectangle and we're going to make a new solid brush with a color from a RGB thing and then we're going to make it uh, like the hatch brush just a bit of white so close these and then again the rectangle we have here okay and now this should make it a little bit more white when oh it's not very visible perhaps a red to make it uh, shine through better okay as you can see it, it it works and now for down I'm going to make it a little bit more black okay so now when you mouse it over then you click oh wait I copied something wrong down as you can see that that's a working button so it's very easy to do these controls very easy okay so uh, um, another control that's very very easy to make even easier than a button is a uh, group box so demo group box um, so inherit this is a container control uh, theme sorry um, it's a container control just as the theme container but it has some differences so in the sub new you set the control mode to true and yeah instead of making a theme container that uh, it always fills the entire form. Well, when you set the control mode to true, it really acts like a groove box or a panel. So that's that's very good. So again, we set some colors. Um, yeah. Um, inside color or something. Uh, no, I just draw borders and black borders. Um. Header, uh, dim gray, and text color again. Wait, I just do text. Um, white, no, black text. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so you have 
dim border as pen, dim header as brush, then uh, text is a brush too. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> okay, like this. So, um, in the color hook, again, we fill these with actual pens and brushes. So, border equals get pen um, border header color equals get brush header text color equals get brush text. Okay, so now we're just going to clear with the back color. Okay, and then we're going to fill um, our header. That will be the top part of the groove box. So fill rectangle, um, that's our header brush, and then our rectangle. So uh, the location would be 0, 0, and then width minus 1, and then how high, how big you want the header to be. So I'd go for something around maybe 25 pixels or something. And that should give us something like this. Yeah, the default size is a bit uh, weird. But as you can see, only a part of it gets filled, and that's exactly what we want. And now we're going to... Um, we're going to draw around the header. So, yeah, border. And then again, this rectangle. Now we're going to draw the outline of the general uh, over the whole control, sorry. And that would be a new rectangle, 0, 0, width, minus 1, height, minus 1. Okay, and now you have something like this. Looks like a group box indeed. So, um, now of course it needs text, so... Um, G don't draw string text font uh, text color then a new point uh, I guess um, seven five or something let's try it out one pixel down okay looks great well not great but looks decent I guess so. Perhaps white text looks better, so white. And then these changes is, are in the sub new. So if you want to refresh, you can change the color manually in the colors array. So text, you can set it to white here. Well, um, I didn't explain it very well, the color hook, but basically it makes you able to change the colors in here, as you can see. So now I've changed the text to white and it should update it here as you can see and that looks better in my opinion. And now you can add your controls inside of the groove box. So yeah, um, this is the end of my second part of this tutorial. Uh, I hope everything is uh, clear enough and if you, um, well if you think something is not clear or something, just uh, post in my thread and I and I'll try to explain it uh, in detail. So uh, thanks for watching, I hope you've understood uh, enough, so bye!